Back in 1981, I come across this newspaper headline, and the story is about a new hormone that was discovered in cockroaches. And the proponent of this hormone had managed to put it into a pill, and that pill cured almost everything. It sounded too good to be true. Turned out, it was too good to be true. It was all a hoax by a gentleman named of Joey Skaggs, who made a career out of uh, hoaxing people to show how easy it was to mislead the media. Well, anyway, that turned out to be a nonsensical story. But more recently, I come across this headline about cockroach milk being a novel superfood. So I thought, okay, well, here we go again. Another hoaxer at work. Turns out that there actually is something behind this story. What is behind this story is a real scientific paper. Now, of course, it is almost unintelligible to someone who is not well versed in this kind of research. But what the researchers did here was to examine cockroaches and particularly a specific kind of cockroach that gives birth to live young. This is very, very strange, right? I mean, most cockroaches, of course, lay eggs, but, but this particular one gives birth to live young. And it turned out that uh, during the process that the embryo is growing inside of the cockroach, it is nourished by this particular fluid that is absorbed by the embryos and turned into crystals. And this is what is referred to as cockroach milk. And the researchers looked at this, they found the proteins that were present in these crystals, that it was very nourishing, it had all the amino acids, uh, the crystals also had fats and carbohydrates, seem to be sort of an ideal food, which of course it is for cockroaches that are being nourished. But this led to all kinds of headlines, like the one that I showed you about cockroach milk becoming a superfood. Well, I think this is quite misleading. We're a long way away from harvesting milk from cockroaches. Of course, if you take a cow, we can milk the cow. That's been done for eons. We can do that very easily. But gee, you know, when it comes to cockroaches, and milking them, that becomes very different. Uh, even if we can so kind of uh, find the right cockroach and grow it really large, I still think that milking it becomes a difficult venture. So, well, this was some intriguing research about a rather unique species of cockroach. I don't think that you're gonna find cockroach milk in this grocery store or in the uh, roach store uh, in the near future. But uh, sometimes interesting research does lead to nonsensical headlines.